guys and welcome to my channel once again today on the menu we are making watches to you and here is my audio I have onions ginger pepper curry powder three Maggi cubes nutmeg meat seasoning and I also have crushed tomatoes and meat um, so let's get right into it and um, I will just leave everything under the description by the way all right so in here I have my three Maggi cubes and I'm gonna let them melt All right, so I'm adding my onions. And I'm going to allow it, I'm going to allow it to cook for one to two minutes and then I'll add the ginger. All right, so I just added my ginger to it as well. And I'm going to allow it to cook for at least five to eight minutes before I add the pepper. Okay, now I'm adding my pepper. And I'm just going to let it cook for one to two minutes. And I'll add the tomatoes. So I'm going to add my tomatoes. I personally like crushed tomatoes. I don't like tomato sauce. Because I'm not going to add any tomato paste to this. And that's why I'm using this crushed ones. It's more like fresh tomatoes or boiled tomatoes, like, you know, blended. That's why I use this all the time. All right. As you can see, we have a full pot right now. And I'm just going to allow this to cook for 15 to 20 minutes before I add any spices to it. All right, so I'm going to add my curry powder, the nutmeg and also the beef seasoning in here. Stir it. And I'm going to leave it on medium low and allow it to cook for another 20 to 30 minutes before I add the meat. All right, so now I'm going to add my meat. I'm adding the stock as well, because I want to get a flavor in there. Ooh. Mess this place up. the stocks I'm going to allow it to cook again for 20 minutes on medium high heat and then I'll reduce it so we can just finish cooking so this is a final look of the stew I want you guys to have a proper look at it that's why I brought the camera a little bit closer 